Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. I just want to show you my HackG 2.15 setup. I will be posting in the, a link in the description below and that will be, you can download the same exact setup I have, send it over to your NES Classic and away you go. So let me just get everything up and running here. Turn on the NES Classic. Now I do have the sound muted. Uh, just don't want any copyright flags or anything like that from Nintendo. So here is the setup. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm still dealing with the same old camera, but uh, as time goes on, I will definitely try my best to get a better one. So we have Arcade, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Nintendo, Sega Master System, Super Nintendo, TurboGrafx-16, and I put the RetroArch in the main menu just so if, if I want to do any settings, it's a lot easier. I mean, when you're in game, you can press start and select at the same time, and that'll bring up the options menu for RetroArch. So I've also installed the XMB style uh, RetroArch. It looks a lot nicer, a lot cleaner, um, similar to what you would have on like I have RetroArch on Windows, um, and it just looks a lot cleaner, so we'll just quit RetroArch. So let's start with Turbo Graphics. Um, I put 90, 90 games in each each system, all 3D artwork here. Um, again, I've just taken out four four different. Um, there's 94. Games released for Turbo Graphics in North America. I've just taken out four of the kind of crappy sports games that I don't play. Here's my custom uh, menu folder, so you know where to go back. Um, really like that folder. Uh, let's go to the math. Uh, Super Nintendo's next. So again, you know, 3D artwork uh, looks really good. I really like the look of the 3D artwork. It just it just gives it a little bit of a a pop as opposed to the to the 2D Final Fantasy 3 great game right there. And uh, there's 90 uh, Super Nintendo as well. Let's go back here. And next up we have the Sega Master System. <clears throat> and these these are great games. I mean, it, it's such an underrated system, and they're very, very fun. Now, for for the Super Nintendo, um, I mean, for all these systems, I could use the the Wii Classic Pro. I mean, I, I can use this uh, GameCube style fight pad, or this one here is the the Wii Classic. But for for anything that's Turbo Graphics, Sega Master System, and especially original NES, I do use the controller that came with the NES Mini. I just I just prefer it. I mean, if I could get an actual Sega Master System controller to work on this thing, I would because I really like the Sega Master System controllers. Um, I do not have one, but I would love to get one. And they they're not that easy to come by. And when you do find them, especially on eBay, eBay prices are just ridiculously through the roof so I mean I'm fast scrolling here guys but there's 90 games um, for each system except for arcade um, I will be adding more arcade I just you know I I'm at 251 megabytes uh, with this and I don't like going over just just based on you know save states and the the size of retro arc and and all that kind of stuff. And so I want to leave some space available. Uh, here's 3D NES. Uh, you know, there's Base Wars. You know, hours on that game. Definitely, definitely a great game there. Link, uh, win, loser, draw. You know, I I like a a variety of of different types of games. All the big name ones are in there as well. Um, there's Game Boy Color. Uh, I am not familiar with Game Boy. There is a lot of games that I have never played. You know, so I, I can't wait to try them out. Like Wario Land 2, Wario Land 3. Um, there are some Mario games that are specifically for 
the Game Boy and Game Boy Color, which is which is awesome, you know, because I haven't I haven't experienced them yet. Uh, so it's it's so cool. I can't believe that I've never never played them again with the Game Boy. You know, I don't mind using the Wii Classic controller, but anything two button. I mean, it's it's pretty cool to use that that uh, that classic NES controller. Here's your standard Game Boy. You know, there's Wario Land two. Uh, Wario Land, which is Super Mario Land 3, uh, I guess. There's some turtle games. Uh, I think me and my son Titan would definitely get into those. He's a big turtle fan. Um, again, 3D artwork in there. I, I did a, a previous setup, and it took a long time. And what I had done was I had the box art 3D up here, but the small images on the bottom of, of the screen that scroll across there, they were actually the carts. They were 3D NES carts, and man, not worth the time. They're they're not that visible. I mean, it it does look good, but it's it's just not worth the time. And so, I opted out of that and just stuck with this with the standard big box, little box. Uh, I may change it up in the future with future releases of Hackchi, but for now, I'll just keep it the way it is. Uh, these I don't have 3D artwork. I actually just used wheels from Hyperspin. Um, they're just nice transparent wheels. I mean, I've got Arkanoid, Cadillacs, and Dinosaurs. If you're not familiar with this game for the arcade, uh, I was recently introduced to it, and, and it's it's an awesome, awesome game. Really, really fun. The original Donkey Kong. Who doesn't love that? You know, Miss Pac-Man. Uh, the first Ninja Turtles for the arcade. The the second one, Turtles in Time. I love WWF Superstars, WrestleFest, probably my favorite arcade game of all time. Um, yeah, it's just a nice, clean setup. I, I like the the arcade here. Uh, this this here, the actual arcade cabinets, made me want to put the actual consoles instead of logos. I just think it looks a lot nicer, and, and they're transparent PNG files. You can Google them. They're, they're really clean looking, so... Again, guys, I mean, if you're going to play anything above two-button games, when if you get Nintendo 64 or Super Nintendo um, running on this bad boy, even some arcade games are more than two-button, you know, definitely uh, it, it's unfortunate that these are going up in price. Like, I've been on Kijiji uh, to get one of these. These here, actually, they go on sale quite often. If you can get them some amazon best buy.ca walmart.ca and i've seen them for 20 bucks and under you know brand new from the store uh this one here was brand new in the box it was open box i got it from a really really good guy named gord he got me three of these um this one here and also this one that came in the box excellent condition it's it's, it's nearly brand new um this one is brand new and these function perfectly so Gord, if you're watching, thank you very much. Um, I'm enjoying the heck out of these ones. Haven't messed around too much with this, but it does work with N64. Um, this one here is great for N64. They all are, if you guys are into all that. Um, this one here, I think my son, Titan, will love. You know, I've said in previous videos, he's a three at Xbox 360 and original Xbox fan, so... I think this is the way to go for him, something to hold on to, but right there, that that's for me, and I got three of these, so hey, me and a buddy, two guys playing Super Nintendo, it's a classic feel. They're also, it was uh, Japan only, I believe, they had a Super Famicom Wii controller, and it does work on here, and it is an exact replica from Nintendo of the Super Famicom, which is the Japanese Super Nintendo controller and man I'd love to get my hands on one of those but I, those are I haven't seen them less than like seventy dollars Canadian and that's I believe used so you, you go up from there if you want brand new and I just can't spend that on on you know a, a controller like that I just I just can't see myself doing it but if you guys would are interested in it, it, it's like this, except without the thumbsticks, and it's got the original uh, SNES D-pad. The buttons are colorful. It, you know, it, it's the exact replica only with a with a Wii connector, 
and it works perfectly on the the mini Nintendo from from what I've read and 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 so on. So if you guys are willing to spend the money, uh, that is my dream controller. Definitely uh, would be that controller, but I, I'm a, I'm a forty dollar and under type guy for a controller. These ones here, I, I got really lucky. Uh, like I said, Gord was such a good guy, and he gave me five controllers for fifty bucks, and I I couldn't be happier because it's definitely a great deal. And myself and my son and and anyone I have to when we play against each other, you know, we've got some some really awesome controllers to use. So again, guys, I'm gonna post a link in the description. You can download uh, my Hackchi setup. Um, upload it to your NES Classic and you're off and running and you'll have the exact same setup that I do so um, please like and subscribe feel free to comment uh, if you have any questions I'll definitely do my best to answer them all uh, as best I can so uh, thanks a lot guys and uh, have a good day